Okay. What's up, everybody? Today we are going to build an, uh, a two-meter J-pole to attach to my rucksack for pedestrian mobile. What we have here that my little scientist is holding is the base of a fishing pole that I snipped the eyelets off of, and we're going to shove the antenna, the radiating element, up in the fishing pole, and we are going to shove the fishing pole into this here piece of PVC pipe, which I'm going to zip tie onto the frame of the rucksack. <clears throat> and uh, we'll get into a little bit of the construction for that here in a minute. Um, but uh, I've developed myself a uh, half wave 20 meter dipole and strung it along the ceiling of this uh, townhouse that we're in. And it didn't tune up on 20 meters because I didn't know what I was doing at all when I built that antenna. Okay, so anyway. Uh, the antenna that I was just talking about, the uh, 20 meter half wave J, uh, dipole, doesn't tune up on 20 meters at all, because I didn't know what I was doing with antennas at the time, but it does tune up with, uh, on 10 meters, and anyway, I've got it strung across the ceiling, running past this uh, smoke detector here, so if I go above 5 watts out, it, uh, it, it trips the, uh, the smoke detector. So anyway, we're going to dispose of that antenna. And in doing so, we're going to uh, salvage parts off of it to construct this uh, J-pole for the rucksack. And he wants his little piece back. So, there's your base of the antenna. Anyway, so, here's the other end of the, uh, the dipole. I snipped uh, a 5-foot section off, 55 inches uh, to be exact. And, um, so anyway, let's get into the construction of this antenna. Okay, getting into the parts list of this project. Um, of course we're going to need a handheld radio, along with the proper adapter to connect your antenna to your handheld. Here's our rucksack. We will be sticking the, uh, strapping the antenna to the frame of the rucksack using zip ties. Here we have an antenna analyzer. You will absolutely need this to properly tune your antenna to get it to perform the way you want it to. Here's an old fishing pole. This one came from Wally World, uh, Walmart, the old Durango, or I guess that's how you pronounce that. Durango, sorry. <clears throat> anyway, uh, yeah, it was a nice fishing pole, but uh, anyway, it makes a better antenna. So, um, okay, we're going to need some PVC pipe. We're going to need some RG58 or RG8 Mini. What's that, RG8X Mini? Anyway, and uh, we're going to need 300 ohm twin lead that you can get from Radio Shack or some other electronics place, uh, if that's all you have. Anyway, um... I also used some 17 gauge <clears throat> solid wire and uh, a few other things uh, that I don't have in front of me right now like uh, zip ties, electrical tape, and uh, I'm even going to end up using some chopsticks to uh, get this project going here. Now let me explain what I've done. Okay, now. To get started here, we had a four foot length of RG58 um, coax cable with a connector already on it. This uh, came from a 50 foot length that I cut up. And uh, so, anyway, four feet. We drilled a hole at the bottom, quarter inch wide, about one inch from the base of the uh, PVC pipe. We drilled the hole. We shoved the PVC pipe up and through where I stripped about one inch back, separated the, uh, I'm sorry, I pulled back the, uh, the shielded side, and then stripped out about a quarter inch of the, uh, the center conductor. At the base of the 
300 ohm twin lead. I, uh, I stripped back about a, I guess a little less than half an inch of each conductor, angled the, uh, the two conductors towards each other and soldered them together making a short down at the base. Okay, now this is the stub portion of the J-pole. An inch and a half up from the base of the antenna. Let me turn this around so it makes more sense. Inch and a half up from the base of the antenna where I soldered the two together. I stripped out one quarter inch of each conductor on each side there. And this is where my feed point for the J-pole is. <clears throat> Okay, now measuring from the base of your soldered short there, 16 and a half inches up the antenna, you're going to make a notch on one side, one side of the, uh, the twin lead. And the reason for this is, well, that's going to be the top of your matching stub section. And uh, here in the progressed form of the antenna you can see that this is where the uh, the top of that that section is that's 16 and a half inches from the base up to here and this is the notch I'm speaking of um, now uh, anything above the quarter wave matching stub section isn't required to be the 300 ohm twin lead at all so what I've done is uh, taken a few extra inches and it doesn't matter how long it is I've soldered on that, that section of 17 gauge wire to the radiating element which is the center conductor side of the coax as the, uh, the shielded side goes to the shorter side of the, uh, of the 300 ohm twin lead. Now from base of the antenna, the shorted portion of the uh, 300 ohm twin lead to the top of the radiating element is 55 inches. That's a good place to start. Um, and uh, from there we can uh, we can do some tuning later. But let's move on to the construction here. Okay, <clears throat> and we ordered Chinese food earlier so I could get myself a set of these chopsticks. However, they didn't have any. Uh, they were out, and luckily we had some already in the drawer. Therefore, we ordered Chinese food uh, <clears throat> without having to. Anyway, it was delicious and moving on to the project. We're proceeding with the project anyway. Here's one of the chopsticks. What I'm going to do to secure this uh, 300 ohm twin lead to the 17 gauge wire uh, so it doesn't flex itself and uh, end up breaking itself here at the solder joint oops oops uh, just below the solder joint anyway on the 300 ohm side because that uh, twin lead is so flexible I'm going to uh, use electrical tape and uh, secure the radiating element to the chopstick which will fit inside the base of the fishing pole. Okay, now as you see here, I did cut the bottom half of, I'm sorry, the bottom, the, the handle off of the fishing pole and left the threaded portion. Now the reason for this is because I can throw some electrical tape around this and it's going to fit just nicely inside the PVC pipe. <clears throat> now, um, I don't have it in front of me, but we are making a trip to the local hardware store later to uh, purchase a, uh, a cap a cap for the end of the PVC pipe which I'm going to uh, drill a hole just large enough for the the base here to slide into so it, it's a snug and secure fit and the antenna on top won't uh, won't jiggle around too much if you will it'll be a nice secure fit um, Okay, where do we stand here? I guess uh, we're moving into the uh, the actual construction part here. Well, I guess we've been into that. Anyway, 